Okay, here's my Orbo throttle. I have the loop stick in there, and uh, I've got the output of the loop stick just shorted with a piece of bus wire. Okay, and uh, I've got the ferrite core all the way in to the loop stick, and it's a little loose in there, and that's what you hear rattling. And the Orbo is going at that speed. Okay, and what's happening is, of course, the uh, the coil here, the loop stick coil, is generating pow <coughs> excuse me, power, and that power is being dissipated by joule heating of this little wire right here. So now what I'm going to do is just gently pull out the the core like this, and uh, back up a little bit. So I've pulled it out that much. You can see the orb, that the Orbet is accelerating. Pull it out a little bit more. Push it in just a little. Start pulling it out a little. push it in a little. So you can see that uh, Orbo is fully throttleable, throttleable uh, without changing input and output power uh, simply by using a variable inductor generator to subtract some energy from the rotor and dump it into joule heating. And uh, if Orbo, if Storn's Orbo is actually over unity, this process will actually add to the output instead of subtracting from the output. <laughs> yeah, right. Just another logical inconsistency of the behavior of Storn's Orbo. Or are you going to tell me that Stjorn's Orbo won't slow down if I apply a variable inductor short-circuited to its generator coils? I don't think so. Thank you for watching.